Hey everybody, B Rod here, and we are back with more Silence in the Dark. So this was a jam game that was made in just a couple days, and we tried it on the channel. We got, I think, most of the way through it. I know I died at one point, but uh, I was like an hour and a half into it. Like uh, surprisingly deep, um, kind of like a Resident Evil style inventory system, uh, Resident Evil Zero esque because you can drop items and pick them back up but you have a very limited inventory to actually carry around with you um anyway the developer actually commented uh and and contacted me and told me that he had continued to work on the game uh he she them i actually i don't know um i don't but uh they contacted me about playing the completed version so they actually released it after working on it further um, so the couple days they spent for the game jam was really good and I was happy to check out a full version that they continue to work on um, there's definitely upgrades updates you know um, I know he mentioned uh, they mentioned respawning enemies um, I think uh, some of the mechanics have been tuned up and just you know in general completed the game you know because a game jam game is kind of like uh, you can create a full game, but you can also create a prototype. So it was a really good idea, and I'm glad they expanded on it. So let's check it out and see what we got. Anyway, I turned it down a little bit. Um, the game music is, uh, or the menu music at least, is very loud. Um, I'll turn it back up. My name is Jonathan Morgan, but friends simply call me John. I am a private detective and have been working My in this field. My name is Jonathan Morgan, but friends simply call me John. Did I do this last time? I'm a private detective and have been working in this field I'm for over 20 years. Deja vu here. I like this job. For that feeling of having found and closed all sorts of degenerates and perverts behind bars. But I often get boring jobs too. I mean, I can't complain. Jobs like that help me pay my bills and keep doing what I like. Recently, I started working on a new case that cost me a lot of trouble. I was looking for a serial killer and child abuser who called himself Bloodhound. I was on his heels and he knew it. Not long after he stumbled and I traced him to a small town. He was staying in one of the cheaper motels there. But I was very upset when I slammed the door of his room open, found him hanging on a rope. The room was filled with the odor of rotting flesh, worms falling from his mouth, and all sorts of fluids running down. He committed suicide long before I could find him. But his decaying, rotting, and dripping body showed that he had been hanging there for months. I went to the front desk and asked, When was room 302 booked? A young man who worked there answered me in a trembling voice that it had not been booked before. At all because another madman committed suicide there 14 years ago. After returning to room 302, I began to look for answers. But I didn't find anything that caught my attention, so I informed the police. I was already walking through the door when my eyes caught the strange book lying under the bed. I didn't have much time, already heard the police sirens closing in. Soon, they would shut everything here down and prevent me from touching anything, let alone take something. Since I didn't find anything else worthwhile, I picked up the book and drove home. When I returned, I decided to wash down my defeat with alcohol. How could a man that was dead for months kill anybody? Something wasn't right here. But he was dead, and I didn't have any limits. Sitting on the couch with a glass of whiskey, started to look at the strange book. I don't usually believe in such things, but that book gave off a weird aura that I didn't like. That thick leather cover and symbols I haven't seen anywhere. I wouldn't be able to redraw them even if I wanted to. When I started turning page after page, I didn't understand a single word or sign. It was written in a language I didn't know. Without finding any answers, I put it aside and decided to go to bed. But that was my second mistake. First mistake was that I took the book with me at all. 
Maybe it's a coincidence, but after taking that book home, I started having nightmares every night. Nightmares about the town called Lamia's Wake. I haven't been there nor heard of it, but every night I wake up sweaty, crying and sobbing, without knowing why. Because I forget what I dreamt the very moment I opened my eyes. Only the name remains in my memory. The name of a town that does not exist on any map. A town that no one knows about or has heard of. Lamia's Wake. I hear it calling me, inviting me, to wake up inside it. The uh, Game Jam prototype did feel... On the 14th day, after I stopped sleeping altogether, my nightmares started to leak through to the real world. Soon, In a good way. I was not able to distinguish between dreams and reality. Suddenly, I opened my eyes and I saw a city with empty streets and abandoned houses. Lamia's Wake, the city from my nightmares, come to life right before my eyes. I saw that I was holding the book that started it all. Why am I here? Maybe I'll find an answer in the city. Glass is glass and glass breaks. <laughs> Last time we were only at a school. I think we were looking for somebody last time, right? Alright, so we look around, tabs our inventory, Bob's your uncle. Strange power prevents me from opening the book. Oh. Hmm. Is out of gas. It's not good. Is this blood? Whose blood is it? Good question. It looks old. Should I follow it? Is this the motel? family. There's so many sick bastards in this world. Tooltips that are voice acted. There is like an audio cue that seems to uh, kind of like a you can tell the mic is like cutting out. Can I go up these stairs? It's locked? It's locked? Actually, this one isn't locked. Hmm. I need a key. It's locked, but possible to open. Hey, there's glass up here. Locked? It's I think locked. this game might actually be pretty it's sizable. Locked. It's locked? The school it's might locked. just be like one level of it, you know? It's locked? If we end up going back to school, I don't know yet. I don't know what to expect. I was expecting just a more fleshed out version of the, uh, the game jam. Hmm. A cop killed his family. There's no, so many sick there. bastards in this All world. Right. That's fine. Alright. 
We need to find a key and get inside that motel room. Is that a flashlight? Oh, this is totally Silent Hill. Dark so fast. Oh, that's totally Silent Hill. Oh god. Oh god. I trust nothing. I trust nothing. Saw me play the demo, by the way. Apparently, the shotgun was outside the school, and I missed it. What is this thing? A dog? Oh god! This is this is where you turn around and climb the fence, bro. You need to be going the other direction. I'll tell you that much. Can I investigate that? No. What is that sound? Seriously, what is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Can I juke him out? Can I juke him out? Oh, oh, oh! Oh god, he's chewing on me! Ah, oh, he's fast! Oh, what's that now? Juked me out! Was I dreaming? How did I get here? What is this room? Was I here before? Oh, is this your old motel room? From the uh, intro? My book's gone. So that was just in the nightmare I had the book. Something in the sewers, something evil, something monstrous. Stay away from the boilers. I hear him roar and scream at night. He's coming, he's coming. Okay. No bueno, thanks, but no thanks, I'm good. Bottom with healing liquid, oh nice. And it has two charges, this has two charges. Mm -hmm. I need a record player for that. Is this my gun? Did I leave it here? When was I here before? A couple typos, but that's okay. Why is my health at 99%? Well, screw you, game. <laughs> um. Whoops. Yeah. Decent amount of bullets. I have nothing in my hand. I tried to equip my melee weapon, that's why I did that. No bueno. Thank you, I don't want any. Oh, this is the door. So I'm still in the abandoned city. I can't say if I'm dreaming or not. If so, this feels way too real. The book! Did I lose it? Maybe in that alleyway. I should check there. Yeah, we should totally check there. Is there a way to save? Would be uh, interesting to play as like a twin stick shooter. It's basically what this is, just with mouse and keyboard. But I'm just saying it would be. I can walk over here now. What? Oh, that's just rude. Hmm. I need a key. It's locked? Okay, yeah, this game is a lot bigger than uh, it was. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap!
It's locked? Dining room table, okay. Alright, so this is the edge of the map. What is attacking me? Something definitely just attacked me. Did I get attacked in my hotel room by an invisible thing as well? Is that how I got 99% health? Is that what that spooky sound that scared me in my... I got attacked in my room? No worries, safe. clips. It's pretty generous. I love it. I like it a lot. You can also combine stuff to make bullets. Ooh, an alleyway. Oh, never mind. <sighs> that thing attacking me actually made me kind of, like, antsy. Space. I heard that. Um, I don't think we need to keep the bloody note. Just in case. I'm gonna toss it. See that? Do you all see that? 
I have no more space. Okay, so cr combining a green herb and a blue herb previously gave you a power up. Move faster, I think you hit harder, and your your health is increased. So I'm gonna drop this. Ooh. That's one strange herb. I'm gonna drop that. I do not want to drop that in the wall. I want to be able to get it back, just in case. Shots. Cool, 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 cool. I think I will also drop the gunpowder in here. This room seems safe. Because this is a safe room for now. And then take the shotgun shells. I can only have one gun equipped at a time. Okay. I have, I have two health items still, so I'm gonna leave behind the herbs for sure. I think I should leave behind the gunpowder because I also have ammo. So, also combining two shotgun shells, two of these, created like a 50 cal ammo. I never found the 50 cal. I didn't find the shotgun last time either. Oh my god. Poofer. Okay, so I don't, I don't think I need to waste bullets on that guy, then. Right. Let's just stay up here for now. I don't want to get turned around. And I'm gonna... It's locked? Space. It's in the valve handle. An herb. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I need to find out how to where to use this first valve handle. Can I not drop this? I don't think I can. Uh oh. Alright. This is the alleyway, because this is the motel. Is my car still around? It would be like here, right? Yes. The car is out of gas. Let's dance. Screw it. 
Give me my book back. Thief. Dirty thief. Are you a thief? space I think that's a map too I need to I need space for the map oh that's not fair <gasps> it's a cassette player yep. January 28th 1984 I can't wait for my baby to see this world my wife is feeling good the doctor said the baby looks healthy and agile although we didn't want a child at first because of my work but now I think we're ready. The boss will move me from the streets to the office, along with a safer job and higher salary. I will be able to devote more time to my family. It's a cassette player. Oops. So there is a safe mechanic. What's that? Okay, can't put... <sighs> I'm an idiot. Glass is glass and glass breaks. It was not about getting into buildings and stuff with glass. It's about the fact that if you drop something, you're not going to put it down, apparently. You're going to drop it. <laughs> so, I did this in the demo too, um, or the Game Jam version. I dropped... The special potion I had made with a blue and green herb and it shattered uh, so that's a health kit gone now I do I'm not hurting and I know where some herbs are <laughs> Sledgehammer away. I'm sitting there clicking and he's not doing anything. Alright, well. Screw it. Not a great start. Woohoohoo! Also, reloading before you need to reload only gets you in trouble. Uh, by that I mean it wastes ammo. Because it's just a refill of your clip, so. Reload when you have to reload. I'm not sure if there's a reload button. I don't think there is. I think you have to combine it in the... Or just, you click use on the ammo and it reloads. <laughs> like this shotgun. I need to use my Shoot! Digit. 
clicking it, and it doesn't waste the full thing. Very interesting. I'm supposed to go. Here it is. Pretty sure enemies are capable of respawning now, so... Something is chasing me. Do you hear that? Oh no, I have to use these valves in the A, B, and C spots, right? space. Crap. I thought I had two charges left. Well, that's not good. Maybe we should switch to this for now. I have no more space. I don't know how much herbs heal you. 
feel like I should use... valve room and then so the valve in the alley in the streets I have to go back up stairs to grab that and that is for the one we just were at shoot at the same time, which makes you a little vulnerable to the dogs with the pistol out. So I'm kind of hoping the dogs don't respawn, honestly. They don't have that much shot to do. Um, alright. So. Yes. This is, this is the path I want. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! safe room that I could go in. It's right here somewhere, wasn't it? Right 
hear you. I hear you, but I don't see you. space. space. Pick up the shotgun. That's one strange herb. <gasps> oh no, my inventory's full. I was like, can I not get that back all of a sudden? I'm be upset. Alright, I picked up the shotgun and I threw the door. That's fine. I have no more space. I have no more space. Actually, I mean, while I'm here, I might as well. Where'd my sledgehammer go? Yeah, where'd my sledgehammer go? I was gonna say, I'm very good game. Alright, I have the valve. Just go left and down. space. Ha! 
god, nice try, nice try. Stop it. Stop it! Already getting torn up by dogs. Cool. Pace yourself with the sledgehammer. You'll be okay. Oh no. Got lucky there. Saving that Q drink for a desperate situation and or a boss fight. Is there going to be a save point on the other side of this, or should I go save? 
pretty sure it's safe. I'm gonna have to fight a few dogs again, but that's fine. I can mostly hold my own against the dogs. Without wasting ammo. Probably should have done that earlier instead of wasting entire thing of shotgun shells, but whatever. I wanna mess with the shotgun. Alright. I think that'll do it for this first episode, man. About an hour so far. Uh, I'm curious if the school is in this game. I think it probably will be. Uh, because we've got a lot more to explore now. Sorry. Um, yeah, no, that's awesome. I mean, the, the improvements are tangible. It's, uh, they've expanded on everything. Uh, it's, it's a blast. It's very good. I am enjoying it quite a bit. I will put the link to the Game Jam version in the description. I will put uh, the Steam link. Um, it's available on Steam in the description as well. I don't know if there's an Itch.io page for the full version. There might be. Uh, if there is, I will link that. And just, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I will continue this in the next video. It's actually uh, going to be a playthrough. Who would have thought? Thanks for coming, and I will see you in the next one.